Hey everybody, how you doing? Hope everybody is having a great day today. It is Wednesday and we are rocking and rolling through this week. Can you believe it? It's um, a short week, obviously, because we were had a holiday for Memorial Day. And so we are extending those Memorial Day sales. And so you don't want to miss out. <clears throat> Excuse me, I did put the links below. So make sure you jump on those as well. Good morning, Sarah. Sarah's here bright and early. Uh, but we are going to, hmm, let's do something different. Oh, let's talk about makeup. All right, so we are going to talk about Luminesce, show you what, what you get, what, what you get when you order it, what you get when you start, how to start. And then, of course, we're going to show you more products as well which we love to do. So if you are on Facebook, if you are on YouTube, make sure you say hello to me. I love hearing from you guys. Um, usually it's like one or the other. I hear from everybody on Facebook and then YouTube's quiet or I hear from everybody on YouTube and then Facebook's quiet. So let's keep it even, Steven. Hey, Brandy, good to see you. Good morning. Hello, Pam. Good to see you. Dova, hello, my friend. How are you? We haven't seen you in a while. Good to see you. Good to see you. So we're going we're gonna to have some fun, obviously. Um, what I'm using are products that are on that are still on our Memorial Day sale. So you do not want to miss out on these deals. Um, and so we will get started. But let's go ahead and start with our one of our starter kit, kits, at least. This is, if I can find it. It's coming up. It's coming up. It's, here it is. This is our icon. We also have the icon pro and the legend. And then of course we have the breeze and the breeze is our, uh, ch chargeable cordless. And, um, and then we also, it also comes with makeup. So it comes with everything you see here. Um, it comes with the two bottles of foundation, love, uh, and blush. And the love is a hydrating illuminator. It's going to give your skin some luminosity. And then the blush is very high pigmented. So it does bloom, but we give you the two large bottles and they're similar in color, but different. So one practice guys, I can't stress this enough. I know you've seen the infomercial and you love it. I knew fish on lit jelly on my lips real quick. Cause they're super dry. Um, so I know you love it and you've seen it, but guys, I'm going to be on, it takes, a second to practice. Okay. You need to practice using it. And so that's why we give you the two large bottles of foundation. So you can practice, but we want you to make sure you do the following steps, get it out, plug it in and hold, just use the air. I'm not even telling you to put makeup in it yet. Just use the air, watch yourself in the mirror and move that stylus around, just feeling the air. As soon as you turn on the, the system, there's air that comes out. So keep it four finger widths away. Watching yourself in the mirror is important because what ends up happening is once you feel that air, you either do this or you do this because we're used to touching our face. So make sure boop, 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 that you keep it four finger widths away. Then put water in here and airbrush water on your face. And that way you can practice lightly pulling back on that trigger. If you can airbrush water on your face and it's not running down your face, then you have a better idea of how to airbrush. All right, let's get started. Hello, Cindy, good to see you. Hello, Pat. Hello, Patty Lou, how are you? Good morning, Martin. Guys, show us some love if you are here. Amber, good morning. And also guys, if you're on um, YouTube or Facebook, if you're on Facebook, make sure that you like this page and that way you will get notifications when we are live. And then if you're on YouTube, make sure you subscribe below so you are notified as well. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Let's get started, let's get started. So I, one thing I wanted to point out, we have this sunless tanning kit, which comes with this. And I just love it. So Patty, I know you, hey Muzi, good to see you. Patty, I know you love doing the powder beforehand. So if you do have these, you can do this powder beforehand as well and then keep it with you. So to, you know, kind of touch up if you're going to be in the sun. Um, and guys, we should always wear sunscreen. I'm probably the worst about that. Um, we did, go, <laughs> me and my daughter went to my brother's pool and, um, and she was like, mom, don't forget the sunscreen. I was like, okay. 
So I got sunscreen and then we got to the pool. She's like, mom, I need sunscreen. I'm like, okay. So I sprayed it on her and she's like, mom, you need sunscreen. I'm like, it is 3.30. Mama's good. Like, I'm okay, honey, because I need to get some sun. And I got burnt. Do you know how bad it is for a six-year-old to basically say, I told you so? Not good. Not good. So we always need our SPF. So make sure you are putting that on your face. And then again, you can put this uh, for touch-ups as well. But we also have in the kit, we have the bamboo polish, which you can exfoliate your face first, then use the tanning tonic. The tanning tonic I use, I've used it at night and then gone to bed or a lot of times. I'll use it in the morning before um, before I put my makeup on. So this morning, what I did is I exfoliated with the bamboo polish. Um, I didn't put the tanning tonic on yet because I wanted to do it here. But normally I would have done the bamboo polish, tanning tonic, let that soak in, uh, maybe go have some coffee, come back and then get, you know, get my makeup started. Uh, yes, always wear sunscreen. Always. All right, so now I'm gonna take my SPF out and slide it out like that. It does, it does have the little tray there that keeps the uh, sunscreen on. And here's the little whoop, 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 folds. But see, I still have my tray. So I'm gonna lay that right there. I'm gonna let that soak in. And guys, on these, there's 18 that come in a packet. Take them out of the packet, like put them in your car, put them in um, your purse, put them in your workout bag, put them in your beach bag, Put like put them everywhere because they're, I mean, they're enclosed and you can just put them everywhere. And then that, that way you do have it. All right. So let me see if that's dried. Now I am going to use a brush to put a little bit of that sunscreen on. And for right now, I'm just using what's on here. And I'm just going to put that everywhere. All right. I love this journey for me. Now, now that I have my sunscreen on, which I still have some to do touch-ups during the day, if needed, um, I'm going to move to concealer. You know what I'm going to use today is our peach color corrector. I know that is Muzi's favorite. And what I like about the peach, the peach is going to help with dark circles, sunspots, to, and to me, it's the easiest one to use. Now, I do have some redness. However, the 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 darkness on my sunspots and different things, and I know that my sunspots are going to come out more because I'm tanning. So that's more important. And so I use more important to me right now than the redness. And so if the if it was reversed and redness was what I needed to get rid of, then I would have used um, the green color corrector. Um, a little time of confession. Um, when I did get sunburned, I it was like right, right here, like right at my hairline. And then to, when I went to church, I was like, I cannot go in with like a red line. So I used the green color corrector to correct my sunburn that should not have happened. Oh, Jeannie accidentally got boosted and she's loving it. Yeah, boosted is one that we actually don't talk about a lot and I need to because it does boost your complexion. Um, what I tell people is to use it by itself to see what it does. And then you have options on how to put it on. You can put it on before your foundation. I usually just mix a couple of drops in my foundation. Uh, I know some people just use it by itself when on those non makeup days. So I'm going to put a little bit of peach and start that underneath my eyes on my lids. And when I say like, when I do, when I'm doing lessons or I'm like, Oh, you know, hit, hit that problem area first. Hitting that problem area sounds like it might be too, um, like, I don't mean when I like make your passes, when I say hit, hit him, hit them it means like make your passes to those areas so
So Janie, did you use it by itself first? And to see what it did or why, how, why are you loving it? Loving it. I'm gonna rinse this out real quick. Yeah, Musette's like, peach. And I find that peach is a little bit easier to use. And like, Musette, what shade are you? Tell me what shade you are. Because I'm a 2-3. And so Musette, I want to say is an 8. I think she's an 8, 8 or 9. And she uses it. So it's good across the spectrum of colors. So any shade can use it. But let's say like with the green or something like that, maybe you're like, Ooh, I don't know if I can, cause you shouldn't see the green immediately. You can put a drop of your foundation in to kind of mute it out a little bit and then use the color corrector with it. So, ah, Pam ordered the breeze. Ah, you're gonna love it. You're gonna love it. Especially if you're gonna start traveling this summer and, and different things like that. Um, okay, I'm actually going to use my, sunscreen again and just dust my eyes since I just sprayed um, the peach color corrector and now I'm going to take the nude <laughs> there's a sticker on her nose I don't know how that got there so the nude palette is all um, like um, non shimmery the all matte colors um, so I'm going to take a little blending brush. I'm like, what colors do I want to use? I think I'm going to use this gray. I haven't used this gray in a while. So I'm using graphite. Martin mixes it in with her blush. So I'm using the, there's graphite and charcoal, and I'm using the lighter side of it with the gray. And I'm going to blend, and we're blending, and we're blending. I'm going to try to keep it below my crease, but I'm in my crease, but I'm not moving it up right now. I want to try maybe do something different. Would I always tell you guys, try something different. All right. So I'm going to go back forth, back forth, back forth. How are we doing on YouTubes? On the tubes? So I'm just keeping that kind of lower. Maybe I'll go here. So a little bit darker on the lid even. Now remember the smaller your eyes are, the less of the darkness you want to bring in. So if you have smaller eyes, then don't bring that dark in. So I am going to go a little bit smokier. I haven't done a real smoky eye in a while. But I'm kind of fading that to see how I'm like starting the crease, but then I'm, when I'm blending, Hey, Robbia, how are you? So good to see you. But see how I'm bringing that gray down? You still see it fades lighter right at the lash line. So I'm starting in my crease, but then I'm bringing it down. Here. Okay. And we're blending and we're blending. Now I'm going to take the Sahara, which is like a deep mauve, like a muddy mauve color. And I'm going to blend that on top of the gray in that on the like where that line is and go up. So this is kind of not kind of it is my what we call transition color. OK. How are you doing? Now, let's say, you know, like to me looking in the in the monitor and like, I like that. And let me show you real quick. I'm going to take a flat eyeshadow brush. 
and I'm going to smudge. Let me get it so I don't lean down. I'm going to go ahead and do my eyeliner with the eyeshadow. I'm kind of going a little thick because, I mean, we're going to do it. Let's do it. Okay. But let's say you look at that now. Um, whoop, hold on, Brandy. I just saw your question. So put the powder or sunscreen on before makeup, then after we put makeup on. We, yes. Uh, yes, Brandy, you can put it on before and after. So I like to put it on before because I feel like I get an all over like, um, protection. And then when I go out, if I need to touch it up, I can tap it out, tap it on. Um, uh, no, it won't. It won't take, and I'll show you afterwards. I'll show you how you can touch it. What's the word? Tap it out. Tap it out. You're just going to tap. Tap it out. Tap it out. Tap it out. Tap it out. Guys, remember that pretty much anything you are going to do on your face, if there's touching involved, is tapping or patting. You tap. You never want to drag or pull on your face because let's bring it home. That's what we've been doing with traditional makeup up until this point, and that's creating more wrinkles and crinkles. So anytime you touch your face, don't pull on it. Always tap. Always tap. Tap, 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 tap. Always. Okay? Anytime you touch your face, golden rule. Probably, it's probably right under, like, wash your face and then tap any product. Out. Tap it out. Tap it out. All right. So let's say I'm looking at this and I'm like, it's not too bad. I can. OK, but let's say I want to take it up a notch. I can go back in and with the darker, the charcoal. I can make a V shape. Right there. And what that's going to do. is create a little more interest, just like when you get highlights on your hair, how, um, you know, you have highlights or low lights to create more dimension, to create more illusion of like that there's more there. This is going to make your eyes pop. Okay. We're all lost for you. Now, if I even wanted to take it up even more of a notch, even more of a notch, I could, let's see which one I want to use. Let's try this one. So now I'm getting into the optics and this is illuminate. It's kind of a muted shimmer. Ooh, don't want to use, I haven't used halo. Halo's pretty light. Let's see what this one's going to do. Halo, halo, halo. This one's pretty light, but I'm going to do it right at, and I'll only do one. Because I want you to be able to see this. And you have to make the space too. Ooh. So that will take it up. I only did it right there. Boop, boop, boop. Okay. Camera one, camera two, camera one, camera two. Which one do you guys like better? I'm going to have to do both now, but which one do you like better? So just right at that lash line is all I'm doing. I could probably bring it into the inside corner to lighten that up a little bit. And then I can go back and kind of blend the edge out. The shimmer or no shimmer? Shimmer or no shimmer? Crystal, most foundations make wrinkles look worse. 
does this settle into your wrinkles as well? I love it. Ah, Patty loves the light. So, um, Crystal, love your question. Um, my first, are you looking? I have a question for you first. My first question would be, are you looking to buy it or do you already have it? Um, real quick, I'm taking our translucent powder. We just talked about lightly swiping because I use black. If I do have any fallout underneath here, I'm, I powder up a brush and then lightly whoop, whoop, swipe right there. And that way it gets rid of, okay. So Crystal, couple of things. And, and guys, I wish I could go home with every single person that bought a system because you would love it there. We're very upfront. There is a learning curve to do it because of the fact crystal, just like you were saying, like when you do tra trans, um, traditional makeup, you're used to seeing that opaqueness, you're piling it on and yes, it's going to enhance wrinkles and crinkles. I'm about to airbrush. So I will show you that when you are airbrushing, you are using 10 times less makeup. And this is put on differently than traditional makeup. I cannot express this enough that airbrushing is different than traditional makeup. It's applied differently. You are going to expect different results, but you have to know how to airbrush to put it on. I'm not saying this is going to take you two months to figure it out. No, days, like a couple of days, bam, you're, you got it. And every time you are doing your airbrush, you're learning, okay? But it does take some getting used to, and that's why we go over those steps in the beginning so you can practice. Um, Crystal, the one thing I would recommend, even before you, and you could do it before you purchase it, if you look in the link, and maybe Lemoness will post it, you can book a class with me. Um, they're group classes, they're small group classes, and I go into more detail of how to practice. I can even color match you and tell you what colors to get, what kit to get. Um, and so I think it's very imperative that number one, no, airbrush makeup, everything you've seen on the infomercial, it works flat out. It does what it says it's going to do if you're airbrushing the right way. So don't do it one time. If you get it, don't do it one time and go, oh no, mm -mm, don't like this. Honey, you weren't, none of us were an expert the very first time we did traditional makeup, right? We love to practice. We love to get in our mom's makeup. We love to do whatever. So it does take a little bit of practice, but I can tell you how to practice with air. I can tell you how to practice with water. I can, there are tricks that I can teach you and you'll pick it up in no time. But to your long around about answer, is no it does not settle into wrinkles and crinkles so i'm taking my breeze system i have it in my makeup in here i did the silk foundation now i'm going to start in one spot holding it four finger widths away making my passes this is not a race the moves that you make are very deliberate Holding it four finger widths away, if I can just feel that air, I feel air here to here. That is my, that's my brush. We talked about this yesterday. That's my brush. Get it? Air brush. What? So that's the space that you're covering. So you're never in one spot twice, but there is overlap and we're not painting a fence. So you don't have to go over every inch of your face don't have to do that we're making those passes you do not want to get your 100 percent coverage on one pass you might make i might make three passes here three passes here i might make six here but i can do a full face with about eight drops depending on what kind of coverage that i'm looking for but you want those eight drops to last as long as they can So mine is still going. So if, if you are having, if you're struggling with it, if you're like, Hey, I, I'm, my drops don't last that long. Chances are you're pulling back too hard on the trigger, but join us in a, um, in one of the lives. And when I start airbrushing my foundation, you start and let's see how long we can make this last. <laughs> exactly. Wax on, wax off. 
All right. Now, I am out of makeup. How do I know that? Because one, I just feel the air. I don't feel the other set of coolness when it comes to the makeup. The other thing is I can hear it. You're going to, I can hear when it's empty. It's just the air sound. There is a wet sound when um, the makeup is coming out. Practicing with the water, that is going to, um, to help you see that, okay? I'm now gonna take my cut one palette Do a little cone for it. Yay, Patty loves it. She's 57. And guys, I mean, <laughs> I'm 52. So the fact that the younger you can, bottom line is the younger. You can start airbrushing the younger you're going to look because we're not creating more wrinkles and crinkles. So you're not going to touch your face when applying the makeup. I mean, I can do a whole face with airbrushing, but the, the joy of airbrushing is the fact it's not all or nothing. You can mix it together a little bit. Um, I am going to do, I wasn't going to do any shimmer, but I think I am. So I'm going to grab the optics palette. Now, because I have such dramatic eyes, I am going to go in with just a little bit of shimmer. Right there. Just a little. And then I might add a, did I get a little bit of blush. I know. <laughs> Veronica said, I'm 58. I mean, we have a wide range. Musette's like, I wish I would have started 20. I mean, can you imagine if I had this? Oh, that's the wrong brush. If I had this growing up, I think my life would have been so much easier because if I did get any breakouts, I didn't have really bad acne growing up. But like if I did, it would be so like, who cares? I'll air brush over it. And they wouldn't have like if you have sensitive skin, acne prone skin, we're not irritating it. If you have rosacea, things like that touching your face is going to irritate it. And so you are not going to have that issue when you're airbrushing. Make sense? Shut up, Musette. Are you serious? Musette said she'll be 60 in December. Musette, you look so young. All right. I am going to put some lashes on because I think this look deserves lashes. So I'm going to take the two-in-one smart adhesive. Is there a way that I could do the beauty of this tutorial? Um, yeah, Sandy, as soon as we're done, <laughs> uh, as soon as we're done on our Facebook page, you can start it over. Um, guys, if you want to go back and look at any of our videos, they're all on our Luminous Cosmetics or Luminous um, YouTube channel and all the videos about what 1400 are on facebook as well so you can look at any of them um i always recommend book a session with me guys if they're small classes and i go around and i talk to every single person um and um and we figure it out and especially if you're new like i might change it up because i want to really talk to those people who are just interested in a system maybe like you, you don't have one yet, but you're interested. So we can talk about that versus somebody who ordered it and has it. And they're like, okay, what do I do? And then we'll have one for, Hey, I know what I'm doing now. What? <laughs> All right. So I'm taking my smart adhesive and lining right at my lash line. And I just, oh, that looks so much better with eyeliner. This, this look calls for eyeliner. Um, I think I'm going to do, I'll do Diva. And guys, all of, don't get thrown by the names of the uh, lashes because they're all pretty, I, I don't want to say natural, but they're all pretty normal. The shapes of them are just different. All right, so now I'm going to take this. 
What? Oh, I know. Patty's like, uh, I can't make myself get the breeze yet because I have three. I understand that. And now I'm going to. Um, Sandy, I, I'll tell you, go to. So if you are on our page. Because I was I had trouble the other day. Um, if you go to Luminous Cosmetics page, look how difference that makes. Bam. And look how easy that was. Uh, Lash Lure. Um, go to our page. And then at the top, it says like, I don't know. It has like topics. And then there's the little dot, dot, dot. Click on that. Or is it a hamburger? can't remember. But click on that. And then it'll drop down and it'll say videos. Or it says more or something like that. Click on that. And videos will come up and then if you click on the videos you can see it and all of them are uh wake up and airbrush and then you might get sick and see me because i've only been doing this a long time <laughs> all right so now i'm going to line this eye And that's what I love about Luminous because it's not like, okay, thank you for buying. Bye-bye. Guys, we want you to love it just as much as we do. And we're going to work with you until you get it. You can book as many appointments as you want. It's not like one and done. If you're like, okay, Heather, I did that. Now what do I do? Or I got that down. It, and when I say this, I'm being for reals it will become second nature to you. And anybody who's been airbrushing a while can attest to that. Yeah, the breeze is amazing for traveling. I'm gonna grab my other one and look down. And just kind of pop those into place. And I like the I like with the two in one smart adhesive because you put it on like liquid eyeliner, but then you have somewhere to shoot for when applying the lash. We'll move it down a little. And then with the adhesive and the magnetic, it just goes whoop. It just pop pop pop. And I just kind of push it in to make sure it is on. And I'll show you this too. So like, let's say, oh, that didn't work. I can take it off, reapply. This hand, for some reason, when I put it on this, it gets in my lashes. So that's what I'm, I'm pulling the glue off my lashes. And then go back. Bam. Bam. And I'm just making sure they're all in there. I look gorgeous. And there you go. That one looks like it came up a little bit. So let me move it here. And then you can put mascara on with them or you don't have to. Most of the time I don't. And see, even tweaking this one, like I'm having to kind of move it around. I love it because you're, you have that double whammy. You have the glue plus the magnetic properties in it. So it's, it stays, it stays. Now I'm blotting my lips and using dusty rose because I have, I'm not one to be like, Oh, I have smoky eyes. So let me do no lip or I kind of like a balanced look. So I wouldn't go with just like a gloss, but I do like a little bit of color. You know what I like about our um, lip pencils? I used another one, just a store bought one. And 
it's great. They're super creamy, but they break so easy. So like that tip will pop off so easy and ours, even though they are so creamy, you don't have that issue. So here I am I let. And there we go. So it gives some color. And the eyes are looking so dramatic. I love it. I love it. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. And hey, we're going to be back tomorrow as well. Seriously, please book appointments with me and keep them. Uh, book the appointment because I love to talk to you guys. I love to um, work it out where we can really let you see how amazing airbrush makeup is. And we're going to walk you through it. You should not be nervous. You should not be scared. It really is easy. Plus, I'm going to tell you ways to practice with just the air and practice with water before we even get to foundation. When you first get the system, I'm going to tell you, hey, just get, let's get the foundation down. Because once you get the art of airbrushing down, it doesn't matter what you're doing because you know how to airbrush. So you can, you'll get it down. So I promise. You will love it. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. So glad to see everybody. Woo -woo. And I will see you tomorrow as well. All right, guys. Hi, Elaine. Good to see you. She's loving it. All right, guys. See you soon. Bye for now.